Hi, this is Paul, and this is the next in my series of Ninja Trader Broker uh, educational uh, videos. Now, I've gone from sort of setting up simple trades, stop losses, things like that. Now, it was my first live trade using the brokerage, and I came across uh, an issue uh, which actually got I took out the trade on the gold a little bit early because I just couldn't see it on the chart. So I'm just going to go through the statement again. I've just redacted my address and the account number. This is live. Uh, it's a live account. And remember, I started with this with, you know, $560 odd dollars. Well, it's $573, but they took $12 from my day to charge out for the month. Uh, but this is the, the, my first activity for those trades. So we're going to keep this. I'm going to keep a, a video journal of this. Go through the trade setups and what I was looking for. But more importantly, what I'm learning about the platform. So two trades on this day. And remember, I'm doing this part time because I have uh, a lot of sort of trading activities going off. And this is a small account and it's just when I can trade it. Um, so two trades. We had the micro gold, the micro NQ, two contracts on each. And uh, what we're looking for really is for those moves. But again, I was, I'm going to go through what happened with the chart trade and not being able to see the trade on the chart, which really concerned me at the time. But I've now resolved that issue. So we can see the MGC, two contracts, uh, the exchange fees, the commissions and everything like that, $7. But that everything taken out is 578 uh, And then the MNQ, which is... 100 tick move on the two contracts is $50.78. So in total, uh, $55.96, which in fact is around 10% of that account value. So again, it's, you know, I'm starting with this low account to show you that, you know, we shouldn't be going hell for leather here and, and just just taking out that account every time. We should be looking, looking for uh, those high probability moves and a 10% increase on the account value is massive. Don't think because it's only now at $617, this isn't big, because as you start to build up your, uh, your, your use of the trading indicators, the strategies, and you're getting used to uh, putting those trades on, and we only started with a, you know, a, an account size less than $600 here, we start building that over the few months. We start to build our confidence so we can start instead of going two contracts in the micro we might start going four or six or five I mean, and we start to increase that as the account size increases as our confidence increases uh, in the strategies and the indicators but right now one little trading day maybe could have made more money but i got a little bit um, confused if you like when I put the order on uh, that I couldn't see it on the chart and I'm going to talk about that in a minute but again this is the statement two trades and the account was raised by 10 percent I mean again um, you've got to realize that if you're starting with a small account you're trading this part-time it's, it's not uh, about making millions of dollars it's about okay I've increased this account size by 10%. What's the next trading activity? Do I do that again? Yes, good, okay. Let's do that for three months. Now all of a sudden you've probably doubled or tripled your account size. Actually, this thing is working. I'm gaining confidence. The strategies and the indicators, especially the ones from um, you know, globaltradingsoftware.com with the expert algo, the manager, the range breakout trades, which is what this one was, um, you know, I'm building up that confidence now. Okay, so my account size may be at, you know, 2,000 now or 1,500. I'm going to add some more to that. I'm going to do the same things, going to use the same strategies, the same discipline. And in theory, uh, just increase those contract sizes slightly and start to build that account size some more. So this is a journey and I'm you're going to go through it with me. I've never, I haven't traded a small account like this for a, couple of decades so again I'm taking it easy I'm using what I know and there uh, you know we're going to build this account size so let's go to the trades themselves now I'm not going to go over too much uh, on the trades but I, this is the actual you can see the buy and the close here so this was an opening range play after data there was a data point I had a this is a 15 minute candle and as when I had that date but that range that was formed by that first 15 minute candle I needed to break out of that and using that market open to do that and get that 100 tick move is what I was looking for 
and that worked out fine. Um, I'd already had the issues with the gold trade before, um, which I resolved for this and I could see it on the chart. And the issue was because I was going from SIM and I've been practicing and you've seen those videos and the links to some of those will be in the description of this video. Um, because then I went on to um, on here onto the order panel and I changed that to the live account it didn't change the chart so the charts were actually on uh, sim so when I put the order on I couldn't see the trade on the chart and, and this and the first instance with with gold I panicked where's my trade I just I didn't know where it was um, and the issue was on the chart trader here I'll go to gold now on the chart trader I was on sim okay so if this is hit if you've got this hidden or off for example you just wouldn't know so the thing to do is to ensure on your chart you go to chart trader and you change it from sim to live okay so you change it from sim to live so then you can see if I just change that over to live here so now you will be able to see because it's attached to the live account you'll be able to see those trades as they come along so if we just go back to the 9th of September you will see now this is the sell order I put on that oil uh, sorry gold here now obviously I got out of that pretty quick because I just couldn't see it on my chart and then messing around and figuring out oh right okay chart trade is actually saying sim and it wasn't on my live account that's why I couldn't see that trade uh, so I panicked I just took that little uh, I closed out the position for a little bit of profit to you know I wasn't going to let it run while I found out the the issue I closed it while it was in a little bit of profit just flattened it and then tried to find the issue and that's when uh, once I would found that issue and I changed my charts over to live I could actually see the trade so when we go back to this trade here obviously that was easier for me because I'd set my my uh, entry order if you like at this price breaking this first candle uh, 15 minute candle for that range that I wanted to trade out of and it took me in and I basically had a, a, a profit limit order using those ATM strategies there and again I'm going to talk about and do all the videos on those ATM strategies for this range breakout uh, play um, in the future hopefully this helps short video but again it's something really important if you've been practicing on the sim and you've got sim on your charts and you put a live trade on you just won't see it on your charts you've got to change the account over on chart trader go through that again just briefly if the chart trader is off you won't see it on the right even if it's hidden you won't see it on the right go to chart trader make sure it's open and on the account here change it to your live account and not your sim obviously if you're trading on sim make sure it's on on the on the sim there but again just thought I'd share that with you because sometimes uh, these things make us panic and it's uh, if we've got this knowledge we won't panic in the future